everybody. Welcome back. We are looking at some entitled influencers today and their audacity. The audacity of these influencers. Get a real job. I got something I want to talk about, all right? So one of my favorite influencers on TikTok, her name's Michaela. all right? You've 100% seen her before. And if you haven't, you're living under a boulder, okay? This is her. And there is some audio that is circulating that appears to show Michaela complaining about how tired she is and about how hard it is to be an influencer, et cetera, et cetera. This girl's got 13 million followers on TikTok, all right? She's a, she's a big deal. So because it appears that an influencer is complaining about how hard her job is, everyone on the app is now jumping on this hate train and talking about, you know, how hard it is to work a real job, quote unquote. Case end point. I love Michaela, but this gives me the ick big time. I work 10 hour days with no overtime pay just to be able to put food on the table, which I currently can't even afford. I would kill to be an influencer. You make more in a month than I have ever made in my life. I would love to try it. My favorite part about this app is the second an influencer tries to make the claim that their job is hard, all of the regular <laughs> folks on this app immediately come together and shut it down. Comment sections flooded with demeaning comments about how hard they're working. The only time I'll ever support bullying, I I love it. Keep it up. Other influencers are chiming in on this. Funniest part about all these influencers trying so hard to convince everyone that their job is difficult. Of course you think it's hard. It's your job. That's how a job works. I'm being so incredibly serious when I say this. Any influencer who tells you this job is hard is either lying or just straight up lazy. I personally can spend anywhere from 10 to 24 hours on one video. I have to get the source material for whatever I'm doing. I have to style it myself. I have to shoot it myself. And I have to model it myself. I have to then edit, which usually takes the longest part of everything. Even with having to do all that just by myself, I will be the first one to tell you this job is easy as shit. You get to wake up whenever you want. You get to work for as long as you want. You can clock in, clock out as you please. You have no boss. You have no coworkers. You got unlimited vacation days. You get paid time off because when you post, your videos are still getting views, thus you generating revenue while you're doing jack shit. You get to decide how long your shift is. You get to decide everything about your job. You are literally your own boss. And yes, this can be a double-edged sword, but for the most part, it's great. And there is no cap on how much money you can make in this job. Literally, people wake up, sit down in front of a camera, and just talk. <laughs> Six figures in the bank. I seriously just think anyone who says this job is hard, probably just lacks real self-awareness. And this is coming from somebody who's never had a conventional job. I went from college straight to this. <laughs> I never worked a regular job where I had to clock in, I had a boss, all that stuff. And I'm telling you this job is easy. I feel like the people who say this job is hard, either A, never had a conventional job and just lack that self-awareness, or B, let's say they did, but they're just straight up lazy. And I won't lie, a good point that the person in the last video mentioned was that no matter what job you have, you're gonna complain. Every job does have its own hardship. People just like to play this game where they say their life is harder than other people's lives because, I don't know, it gives them some level of empowerment. And I'm not trying to say that this <laughs> I'm not trying to say like this is the easiest job in the world. You obviously have to have a lot of self-drive and dedication to become successful. Obviously, like any job, there's good <laughs> and there's bad <laughs> to get online and be like, oh, my job is so hard. <laughs> okay. All right, so you, I think you get the point. Honey, you're 24 years old and a borderline millionaire. If you're not already, I'm 19 in a full-time pharmacy tech. While being full-time pre-pharmacy student, I don't want to hear it. This is extremely tone deaf and privileged. Live my life for a week, you wouldn't survive. All right, so the irony about all of this is someone went into Michaela's archive of videos where she's responding to a hate comment that says, Poor you, report to a job nine to five, lol. She's saying that she works a nine to five, like everybody else. We got Caesar salad with a little bit of Caesar dressing. You know, I'm feeling like a fing ass today. So um, I'm gonna clap back at people because I'm tired. I'm so tired. Every single day, I get up at 6 a.m. I spend about five to six hours filming video content that ranges from three to four videos and I spend a few hours editing that video content. Then I have to work on my other social media profiles, whatever it may be, Instagram, whatever. It's f***ing marketing. Then I'm in meetings from 12 to 5. I literally just finished work and it's 519. Try being an influencer for a day. Try it. Because the people who say it's easy are so far out of their minds, try it for a day. It is not for everybody. In fact, it's for a very small handful of people who can actually do this job. Because it's absolutely f***ing insane. You do not want to have this job. I'm just saying. 
So I think with a little more context, she is saying that being an influencer isn't as easy as everybody thinks, especially an influencer who has like 13 million followers and has to constantly make content. She's trying to make the point that she has a job like everybody else. And furthermore, this is something she said two years ago. Like you can see in the background, she lived in her old place. She's not in her new house. This is how she felt, you know, back when she was hustling, she was probably maybe still even working at Ulta for a little bit or just finished working at Ulta. So, so there's something about everybody kind of jumping on this trend that just doesn't sit right with me because yeah, in influencers can be super entitled. But like in this case, it's just somebody who is talking about their day and talking about the fact that they have a nine to five after someone accused them of not doing a real job. And I would also like to point out that everybody seems to think it's super funny to mass bully Michaela when she's actually been quite open about the fact that she is not doing well mentally right now. Honestly, thank you for asking. I'm not doing very good, <laughs> if I'm being fucking honest with you. I am severely depressed, and uh, I'm in a pretty bad place. Depression is kicking my ass. And it's definitely been difficult coming on here and acting my good old happy self when I'm not. And it's a really weird phenomenon, because I should technically be the happiest I've ever been in my life. Yet, I have not felt this depressed since I was maybe 13, 14. Okay, so... Michaela, you haven't posted in a few days. I'm a little worried about you. I know we like to make fun of entitled people on this channel. We like to make a lot of jokes. But let's keep in mind that it's all in good fun. Let's not go and bully other people, like participate in the mass bullying of someone, especially over something that was taken completely out of context from like years ago. Cause like she's an influencer who's very transparent with everyone. She's a real person. She doesn't hide behind filters. She doesn't change things about herself. And now people are taking advantage of one moment where she said something where it appears she's complaining about her job and they're taking it and they're making it into something that it's not. So Michaela, if you ever see this, we love you. At least I love you. I think you're an inspiration and I hope you're doing okay. Now let's look at some real entitled influences, God. Thanks for getting in contact. I'm glad to hear you're interested in helping us and a fan of our shop. To give a breakdown of what we need, we're currently redesigning our website and therefore require the following. 4K quality shots of our individual products. This will be a still frame and all shots will be taken from the same angle. 4K quality shots of our shop in general. So this be from outside, capturing the sign customers on the street, looks of the salt beef from the window. And more importantly, inside the shop. Snapping shots of the staff working, the production of our bagels, bread, and cakes we make. Along with this, there can be some videography involved if you feel inspired, but predominantly our focus is on the photography. This will need to be done over a couple of days. We have a lot of interest from others too and aren't looking to pay anyone for this as we are happy for them to add this to their showreel and website as compensation. Of course, we'll provide you with food and drink during the day and some goods to take home as a further treat. If this is of interest to you, please, before we speak over the phone, send me a photo of a food item of your choice, preferably a bakery item, so I can get a closer feel of the quality of our camera and work. I can see from your website that you've got a nice touch when it comes to food products, which is great. And I'm sure that you can come up with some creative ideas to help us further. I look forward to hearing from you and your thoughts. Looking for better quality than this. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight. You want someone to do two days of shoot work plus editing work for <laughs> fucking bagel? <laughs> Absolutely not! Which is basically for free. Yeah, I don't work for free or for a few bagels as much as I do enjoy yours. It's honestly pretty gross that you're expecting someone to provide you with two days of work in exchange for maybe 30 quid worth of food. And the sad reality is that someone will probably see this as a good opportunity. It's a no from me. Stop working for free! You're ruining it for everybody else! And honestly, as a business owner, as an influencer, if you want free photos, free videos, do it yourself. Figure out how to do it yourself. You, you know this thing, this phone, iPhones? They've got really damn good cameras on them. They shoot in 4K, some of them. Just do it yourself. 
Okay, save the rest of us the trouble. Or keep doing it because then I have more of you to laugh at in videos. This person wanted an entire plane in return for a load of love online. Oh. Long shot, but is the flex still available? Aye. Aye, me hearty. It is. I'm flying to Tanzania next year, so looking to fly there in the cheapest flying machine I can find. I will be volunteering for a few years. Fancy donating it and getting a load of love online? Absolutely not. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Imagine asking for a plane for free for some Insta likes. <laughs> no. TV production company wants a free wedding photography session. Receives a cheeky email. Ooh, cheeky. Love cheeky. Hi there. I'm part of the production team at redacted we're currently in the wedding planning process for season three would you be interested in being our photographer on one of the wedding days our three days of weddings are the 29th of july to 31st we only need you for one of these days if any suit your availability it is unpaid however we can offer you a logo or text credit at the end of your featured episode pretty great advertising no one watches the credits sweetheart you'll also have to be comfortable being on camera feel free to send me an email if you're interested or know anyone else suitable for the role Absolutely not. You know, as someone who is running a film production, everyone's getting paid, including someone who's a photographer whose work will then be used to advertise, which is a business expense. There's no excuse. Okay. Okay, but here's the response, all right? Hi, sounds like an awesome job. I'm sure my wife and kids would love to eat the tax credit and logo for dinner. I'm sure the bank also wouldn't mind if I paid them with the tax credit and logo too. It's also my wife's birthday on the 29th of July and I would love to spend that exposure bucks to buy her something nice. Tell me more about this. Cheers. I think that's a no. Do you still do minimalistic logos? Yep, are you interested? Let me see some of your work first. I gotta see what I'm buying. Okay, okay. What do you think? Okay, I'll have one with the initials ZH, black and white. Okay, it's $8, PayPal. $8 for a logo? The f <laughs> I ain't paying crap. I thought this was a nice person making logos. My mistake, buddy. It's $8. $8. $8 plus I'm giving you exposure because I basically got your watermark permanently on my page. I'm sorry I misled you. Have a nice day. Imagine getting so heated over $8. Come on now. It's $8. God. Hi, do you photograph weddings? Yes, I do. Okay, great. I will be getting married at the... Can't say that. It would be all day. Sounds great. Congratulations. Am I able to get your email so I can send you more information on the packages and a copy of the contract? You've only done pictures of one wedding. Can't you just do it for $150? A full day of work plus editing for $150? What is that, like like two bucks an hour? Bro, maybe not two bucks an hour, like five bucks an hour, all right? A lot of my bridesmaids are engaged, so I bet they would definitely book with you if you could do a good job. Oh, great, yes. So much incentive to do a good job. The exposure is priceless and you can get a lot of business for doing my wedding. Guess what, guys? Um, this doesn't work. Doesn't work. Once you agree to it, they literally have no obligation to get you any business, none whatsoever. And at $150, I wouldn't really be that motivated to do that good of a job either. You're getting the bare minimum for $150. Maybe an hour, that's it. They wanted a party hosted for them in return for exposure. Attention, local Laredo restaurants. The Laredo Blogger Society is looking for a partner that can accommodate 15 to 17 influencers and is willing to host us this Friday at 6.30 p.m. Preferably those establishments with a private area in order to accommodate our large party along with hosting us. In return, in return. you will get a potential reach of over 100,000. That's it? That really, that's it? Like the combination of 15 to 17 influencers, the reach is only 100,000? Buddy, it should be a lot higher than that. Instagram stories, establishment mentions, brand awareness, and possible future partnerships. Ooh, goody. If interested, please contact us via DM or private message. Um, doesn't sound like a very good deal to me. You know, I have heard of, you know, restaurants doing this. It does help the restaurants. If they offer, by all means. But also, 100,000, that, that's a little low. <laughs> Should be a lot more than that. How much do you think that bill is probably gonna be? Free food for 15 to 17 people. 
what are we gonna say? Like 100, 150 bucks a head, a $2,500 bill, give or take. I'm not sure it's worth it. Actually, I know it's not worth it. And this is what happens when a restaurant is fed up after influencers ask them for free. <laughs> All right. Hello, I hope you're well. I recently heard about your restaurant from a friend of mine who mentioned you serve great Greek dishes and vegan options. I would love to come here with my friend in exchange for social media tagging. I've visited Greece quite a few times and only one thing I struggle to find is places with veggie and vegan options. Would love to speak about this to my audience. I'll be there from the 18th to 21st of July. We are very flattered that you chose our restaurant and we are very sure we will make your dinner memorable. The last few years, we have launched a social responsibility policy with Instagram foodies and influencers. For every meal we sell to an influencer who posts our dishes on Instagram, we give a meal of the same value for free to someone in need, homeless, refugee, etc. In that way, we gain publicity from your posts and you improve your brand image by showing that you return something to the community. We always post the influencers that join the initiative and usually receive hundreds of positive responses. Please let us know your thoughts. So essentially what this restaurant is saying is no, uh, we're gonna charge you regular price, but if you're an influencer, they're gonna donate an equal amount of food to someone in need. In three years, not one influencer has accepted this offer. Gee, I wonder why. So 